Good morning guys, it's Caitlin and Guinness and I are located here in Pine Mountain, Georgia and we are about to go on about an eight mile hike today. So let's go ahead and hit the trail. You ready? Ready to go? Let's go. Let's go. All right, so for today's hike, we're actually gonna hit the big poplar loop, which is this one right here, the 7.8 miles. So we have to go this way. Let's go, Guinness. Let's go. And we start. So about a quarter mile into this trail, you get this kind of rocky outcropping. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. Although it just kind of gets a little precarious <laughs> over here a little bit, but you know, I've done a lot of hiking with Guinness, so we're able to navigate this trail a little easy, but you can see right here, it's got a pretty good cliff if you fall. So keep going. But I absolutely love that part of the trail. All right, one mile down and seven to go. Ready, parkour, parkour. Yeah, it's a bad joke, I know. You want water? Go get some water. <laughs> All right mile two of eight so just keep walking so i wanted to do a quick psa now pine mountain trail is about 23 miles long i think but there's so many offshooting um, trails that go along with it including the one that we're on right now most of the trails are going to be marked with these paint colors here so you just have to look on a trail map i know big poplar loop is this light blue color right here so if i ever get lost or anything like that i know that i'm looking for that light blue marker even if there's a fork in the road if i'm not sure which way to go and there's no like wooden sign i just keep an eye out for that it's helped me not get lost numerous times and i don't know if that's kind of universal with trails, but at least I know here in Pine Mountain, that's kind of how they work. So we're coming up to another point in the trail that I really, really like. It's another one of these um, rocky outcroppings. I don't know why I like these so much because they're very, you know, scary, I suppose, to some people just because of the, the cliff aspect and the heights, but I just think they're very beautiful. And I love that the path actually kind of goes through these. So. You got it, Gigi? All right. A little bit more. Yeah, these ones I have to actually navigate. <laughs> Here, wait. Good boy, go. All right, look at how pretty this is. Just a walk by the stream with all the ferns. All right, so we are three miles in and I really wish I could catch this on video, but every once in a blue moon when we're going through a really rocky area, can it's just trips over every single rock and stick imaginable. And it's really funny to just kind of see him do that weird thing that we do when we trip when you're just trying to catch yourself. And I can't catch it on video though, it's really funny. Baby waterfall. What do you think, Gigi? You ready? Let's keep going. The other way, not the water way. Okay, we need water. Okay, let's get going then. Go, go. Go. This way, straight. All right. Like I said before, some of these wooden markers don't have the uh, big poplar loop on it. I just know that stick with the light blue and I'm good to go. So 
One of these days I need to get out to that. Oh, the country store. I'll have to talk to you guys about that in a second. Anyway, so the country store is this really cute, quaint little Southern cafe. And it's actually located right across the street from kind of the main lookout for Pine Mountain here. And it looks out over basically all of this place called Callaway Gardens, which I'll talk to you about in a second. But basically what it is, is like where that lookout point is, there's a big parking lot where there's a trailhead. And it's the most popular trailhead. That's where everybody goes. I drove by there this morning before coming here and there were easily probably like 40 or 50 cars out there. Whereas at the Fox Den Trailhead, which is a couple of miles up the road where I'm at, that's the, that's the start of the big poplar um, loop. There's only like six cars. And when I go hiking, I like to feel like I'm miles away from civilization. I don't want to be hiking on top of other people. And realistically, I don't think it's any better than Big Poplar Loop. So it might be a little shorter. I can't remember. I think it's only about four miles compared to the eight miles here, but the country store is definitely somewhere to go to. Oh, and they sell souvenirs there too. So if you want, you know, welcome to Georgia or something about Callaway Gardens or Pine Mountain, it's really cool. All right, mile number four. How are you feeling, Gigi? We're about halfway done. Big poplar loop. Just an FYI, you guys, it is very hilly. You walk up the mountain, you walk down the mountain, rinse and repeat, and you do that for eight miles. <laughs> uh, being from Minnesota originally, it's very flat. So I am not used to this much incline, decline. Ugh. Callaway Gardens, would you consider that a resort? Uh, I'm not sure, maybe. Anyway, if you're in this part of Georgia, I highly recommend it. It's freaking awesome. But it has like everything. It has a lake that has a beach that you could hang out at. It's got a golf course. There's cabins if you wanna stay for an extended period of time and just miles and miles of trails. It's awesome and they host so many events every year. Me being me, the ones that I know about, of course, are like marathons and triathlons and all that fun stuff. But I know that they have a million other things, including um, a really neat one is they have a drive-through like Christmas light display in December, obviously. But anyway, always recommend that one. So this trail does cross a major roadway here. So you always have to be on the look for cars. Guinness, make sure you look both ways. So. Look that way, look that way. All right, let's run. And this is the, what is it? Molly Hugger Trailhead, <laughs> interesting name. All right. Get back on the trail, Guinness. Let's go. Back in the woods. Are we still on the right path, Guinness? Big poplar loop. That away. All right. Let's go. So now, instead of having blue markers, we have white markers. So make sure you know about that transition. All right, we are five miles in, three to go. So Guinness, that's basically, we just have to do a 5K, piece of cake, right? Right? <laughs> so can you guys believe that Guinness is actually gonna be turning seven next week? I have had Great Danes my entire life and the oldest one I had, Chandler, lived a week shy of nine. So Guinness is not a young pup anymore and I'm just, absolutely amazed by the level of energy he still has for his age. I mean, he's going out on these seven, eight mile hikes with me. And, you know, we were running 10 Ks and 5 Ks just a few weeks ago. Although I think I decided that I am officially gonna retire him from running now, but it just proves that, you know, doing, you know, your research when looking for a dog is so important. I made sure that you know, my breeder did all the health testing with the parents 
and I've kept up with him to make sure that his hips don't go out, his health stays pretty well good. And it just goes to show you how just doing a little bit of research into who you're getting a puppy from really pays off over the long run. All right, go get some water. Are you gonna try to go the hard way or the easy way? Hey dude. <laughs> All right, six miles in and we're still going strong. Note to self though, the beginning of April here, perfect time to go hiking. So do this more. Up the hill. I hate hills. So the Pine Mountain Trail, the Country Store, and Callaway Gardens are all encompassed by the Franklin D. Roosevelt State Park. And why that is so significant or called that is because Franklin D. Roosevelt actually came here to soak in the warm springs that helped aid his, you know, I guess his symptoms of polio. And he loved the area so much that he bought a house here for when he was visiting and aptly named the Little White House, Giggle. But, you know, powerful people have powerful friends. At least this is my theory. But the local economy boomed here when he was visiting. And it's really neat in this area because you can go through these tiny, tiny little towns here. And there's rows of these just beautiful Victorian houses. And so it's kind of a really neat historical area and highly recommend. It's really close to the Pine Mountain Trail, but the little white house um, where he used to stay is actually now a museum. So check that out for sure if you're in the area. I might be weird, but doesn't this area remind you of like Frozen when they're walking through all the rock trolls? There's just these huge boulders everywhere covered with moss. <laughs> All right, so we are seven miles in and our pace has slowed substantially. I think the old man is getting tired. Poor guy, but Guinness, you do know that the faster we go, the sooner we'll get there, right? I'm sure those are the infamous last words of somebody. I figure at one point you were going to lie down in the water. Jeez, goodness. You feel better? Gigi. Hey. You ready? Less than a mile. Let's go. Or not. Alright. Nice little muddy area to trek through. <laughs> you were ridiculous. Look at that little waterfall. That's so nice. Come on. Let's get through the mud. Kind of a nice ending to our, you know, our little hike here. We have less than a mile. Hey, Gigi, come here. Let me look at your toes. Yeah, somebody's gonna be getting a bath when we get back, huh? I also need a nail clip. More of our precarious ledges. You did a good mountain climber, huh, Gigi? Yeah. Oh boy, Guinness, are we done? Are we done? Oh boy, Guinness, we're done, finally, right? <laughs> are you happy? All right, Guinness and I are done. All in all, we did 7.8 miles in two hours and 50 minutes. So not bad for the old man. But we're going to go home. Like I always said, a pooped pup is a happy pup. So I'm guessing he's going to be sleeping on the couch for the rest of the day. 
thanks for tuning in you guys if you liked this video go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button and i will see you next time say bye Guinness. he says bye